If it's dark in the front, it ain't gonna get you. Well, if you have some lightness, it's good. Oh. Yeah, not, not made for black people. Either, so. No, no, no. Uh, what about him? Where's his ticket? So they had to scan my face, but uh, apparently my, I'm too dark uh, for it to scan properly. So we had to use uh, my phone flashlight in order to uh, get light on my face because it says not light in there. So I was like, okay, I don't quite know how to take that, but it is what it is, I guess. But I, I've never had to scan my face at TSA before. And especially we went through clear, so it's kind of really weird. Okay, so finally uh, through TSA, it took a long time because of, uh, you know, take this out of back, put this there, put this there, you know what I mean? So it's kind of really weird, so so not really loving uh, this San Francisco airport so far. All right, so our plane was supposed to take off 518, it's delayed to six. So I guess we're gonna be headed to one of the lounges. So, so there's this uh, Amex Lounge in Terminal 3, but right now there's no way to go to Terminal 3 from Terminal 1 unless you exit and then go, and then you, you would have to go through security there, and then to get back, you'd have to exit there, and then go back through security here. So um, we're just gonna kinda see where we can hang out for an hour, or well, a couple hours, so. But, uh, but yeah, it's a nice clean airport. Here he said this is always like this. So imagine what the other one's like. The other one must be a madhouse. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're somewhere, right? Where yeah. are all the people? Well, I guess they're on Spirit or something. <laughs> so I think those little shoes I was looking at, those Johnson and Murphy. Yeah. It's gonna go perfect for my new one. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Bun me. <laughs> There's uh, some stations over here. Do you have an American? Well, we were going to get one. Oh. And then we could just use that for mom. Okay. Well, what do Centurion Lounge. Centurion, yeah, I was having problems with it too. That's why I said, <laughs> that's why I said Amex earlier, you know, I was like, the Whatever, earlier. Centurion Lounge. Centurion Lounge to the Capital One Lounge? Yeah, Capital One Lounge I think is a lot better than the Centurion Lounge. I think I, I, think I agree and you make a point. Because the Capital One Lounge is the best than the Centurion And they got better reviews. Fast free Wi Fi. Yeah, no, it's a... I think cops. 
nothing's free, but you have to learn to work the system. Tell your mom there's tables back here. Okay, we are headed to our gate now. Look at all of them. <laughs> the Giants, the City, or Golden State Warriors, and then you got the. Look, you over here tripping. Well, you want to get a snack? I'll meet you at the gate. Here, give me the. You have your purse? Okay, so my thoughts on this airport. Well, first, let me say I normally, uh, when I go to the Bay Area, I normally fly into San Jose or Oakland and uh, just recently uh, started flying American to Monterey directly. Um, I've tried to fly out, I mean, into uh, San Francisco a few times, but uh, got the bird or canceled because of the fog. Well, um, today, as you saw, it was kind of a rough start with the extremely uh, Mr. Grumpy Pants uh, TSA guy. You know, maybe he needs to get some or something, I don't know. You know, also the train from the you know, terminal terminals under construction. So uh, we couldn't get to the lounge we wanted to. But uh, on the bright side, you know, we were able to get into the Admiral's Lounge. You know, thank you, American Airlines. Uh, the lounge was decent, had good Internet, uh, free food, you know, alcoholic drinks, non-alcoholic drinks, uh, plus some hot and cold snacks. So, you know, I, I would say that the Capital One Lounge is still my favorite. There's not many of them, but that's my favorite, uh, followed by the Centurion and then the, uh, the Priority and Premier. They're all kind of, you know, depending on the airport. So I haven't been in the, any other ones really. So um, you can uh, go ahead and check out. I got a couple of videos about the Centurion Lounge and then the, uh, the Capital One Lounge. So I'll uh, put that uh, at the end of this video and also uh, make a little video of this uh, lounge too. So um, a couple more positives about this airport. It was extremely clean. Um, we were told that this terminal uh, that we're in doesn't get too, too crowded. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, there's a lot of food options, you know. So sorry if the video is a little bit long. I was trying to, you know, show some of the food options. Uh, you know, and the food options is if you want to eat outside of the lounge. So, you know, I, I would say overall, you know, SFO is a pretty cool airport, you know, as long as there's not that TSA jerk working.